That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. After a more than 50-year break and several scrapped launches, the U.S. is finally making its way back up to the moon. Yes, so blast off to Kennedy Space Center right now for a look at the historic mission. Check it out, it's the first images from the Orion capsule following this morning's liftoff of NASA's most powerful rocket. And liftoff of Artemis 1. It's like the first moon launch in 50 years, right? So. That's like historical. The Artemis 1 mission finally launched after eight months of back and forth from the launch pad. It was dogged by two hurricanes, numerous technical issues, including hydrogen leaks. In fact, new leaks showed up Tuesday night, just hours before the launch window opened, and a group of NASA technicians known as the Red Crew were sent into the launch pad to assess and fix the leak. My heart was pumping, my nerves were going, but yeah, we showed up today. The rocket has sent the Orion capsule with no astronauts on board for a journey around the moon. And in 25 days, it's expected to splash down in the Pacific. This is just the test flight. And we are stressing it and testing it to make it as safe as possible, as reliable as possible. They got some experience doing that too. NASA has launched over 200 missions across the universe. The furthest spacecraft, Voyager 1, is approximately 14.6 billion miles away from our planet. We have gone all that distance. So why backtrack to the moon now? When we went before, indeed with pride, we planted our flag. It was rather temporary, that visit. With the Artemis program, it's not just to visit, but to live and to work on the moon. Think about that. The Artemis program, yes. The Artemis program will establish the first space station in lunar orbit and the first lunar base camp where astronauts will train for the first mission to Mars. While there are no human passengers on the Artemis rocket, it did not take off empty. Artemis is NASA's plan to go back to the moon and Snoopy is to be the zero gravity indicator. A zero G or zero gravity indicator demonstrates the moment that the crew in the spacecraft reach weightlessness. Snoopy is about to take his first trip around the moon. The relationship with NASA and Snoopy goes back about 50 years since the Apollo days. He was the face of the safety campaign. The icon for NASA's culture of safety and mission success. So NASA and Peanuts have a Space Act agreement. And we collaborate together on STEM content. And we really were excited when it was decided that Snoopy would be the zero gravity indicator on Artemis One. We wanted to go all out, so we created a custom Snoopy. And the spacesuit is actually made out of material worn by the NASA astronauts. Everything was done with extreme detail. They cut patterns for his suit, even how his collar worked and how the NASA Meatball logo looked. We're very excited. I'm personally very excited. I can't contain the excitement I am feeling about this day. Snoopy is going farther in space than he's ever been before. This is a day that we've all been waiting for. It's, it's fantastic. It's really cool, kind of like bridges the gap of the generations. And it's called a meatball logo? I never knew that. I did not know that either. <laughs>